Alex Danson is with us, but uh, we are just going to speak to her right now. Here she is. We're quite relieved you're in one piece, to be perfectly honest, Alex. You've got a bit of a whack on the head. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. It was one of those games. It was a great physical battle out there, and we're obviously delighted to come away with, with the win. Do you know what's really nice? Is that we see a big smiley face on you, because all the interviews so far this week, you've been you know, very professional with, you know, we're all together. You can let yourself go now. What a performance. Yeah, it, it was a fantastic performance. Um, it has been a tough week, but I think um, what we didn't lose throughout the whole time was that belief. Um, and it's just brilliant to be able to put out a performance today to show ourselves, most importantly, to show everybody else kind of what we're about and what we're building to towards Rio. It would look as if you'd almost gone out last night and said, come on, let's have a beer, <laughs> let's have a relaxation, let's enjoy ourselves tomorrow. Is that Was it as simple as that? You just enjoyed yourself? <laughs> yeah, there certainly wasn't any beers. OK, um, fine. <laughs> but there was a, a good conversation. We just got together as a group. We're an incredibly tight, tight team. Um, and just said our standards are better than this and we know what we can do. We knew the little details we had to, to kind of change and then just absolutely brilliant to come out today as a team after a really hard week and put in a, a really great finishing performance. And you can see the reception crowd and those young girls behind you there. <laughs> yeah. They're looking at their little hero there. Um, well, let's see your goals. A great hat trick. We, we were desperate all week to say, let's get dancing on the ball. And suddenly, what a difference. <laughs> I think the first one was a fantastic ball through from Lil. Um, and I think... It was a case of kind of get the ball hard on target. The next one, fantastic routine, uh, penalty corner. We worked tirelessly at Bisham Abbey um, on set routine, so that was great. And this one, fantastic link play from Bray. It was all in the ball. Um, and I remember the keeper coming out and just diving at it, so delighted when that went in. Yeah, just a bad first touch, which meant you had to dive, was it? <laughs> um, I was delighted when it went through. Um, and the keeper so came yes, out. that is a yeah. bad first touch. <laughs> uh, and the keeper came through very quickly, so yeah, the, the defence come out quickly, so sometimes you have to put little touches just to get around them. You see the keeper coming out and you're thinking, right, she's going to go down, let's get the ball in the air. So great, great ball from Sophie Bray. OK, um, I've got to say, Mel and Sally, you know you very well, right? When you got hit on the head, we said, oh, not dancing again. <laughs> I mean, just talk us through. You, 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 were there, uh, you were there in the thick of the action looking for a little deflection, and then Lily, let's swing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be having words with Lil. Um, it was actually, Lil's a fantastic forward. Um, she's got great instinct. Um, it kind of clipped my elbow into my head, and I think initially it was, I've had a, a head injury before, and I was like, no, I'm absolutely fine, I'm absolutely fine. So I was delighted I was allowed back on to carry on playing. Yeah, thank goodness for that, because that was be just before the winner, wasn't it? I think it was just before. And, and it's, you, you, you get the odd knock. Lucky hockey players have made a hard stuff. Um, as I said, I think my elbow helped me a little bit. Um, but I was delighted I was able to get back on and play. Well, it's great to see a smiley face. Mel's desperate to answer the no, question. I just, just want to say, like, today we watched you play and you just, for me, didn't look predictable. I felt like today you mixed up between playing the ball wide and playing the ball through the middle. Now, is that a conscious decision? You know, Danny's over there, so we have yeah, to be careful, don't be what, careful say, but, what you say. You know, and, <laughs> you know, there was a lot of more one touch, two touch play, and it, it just seemed such a different side, yet probably a more pressurised game. Yeah, I think I agree. I think um, the great thing about our team, you know, Mel, is we've got a fantastic talent of short and long ball. And I think today, probably the difference was we really mixed that up. We were really, really tight. So sometimes there was just, we had lots of little 3 2 twos all down the side. And, and when you've got that, you're thinking like Cha Ching as a forward and as a midfielder, because you just know you've always got that extra pass. And when we got the balls off stick nice and quickly, we were able to cut through, and that's what created us the opportunity. So it was very much a performance right from the back all the way forward today. And what kind of now, Alex, where do you go now with the team and in the you're like kind of final prep for Rio? Or where do you go? What are you doing? Um, so we're at Bisham Abbey. Um, there's 31 of us training full time um, and we'll be very, very close together in the squad now for a couple of weeks. We've got a physical, physical conditioning block next week, so we'll be working very, very hard. Um, as I said, we'll still be doing our homework. We've got obviously the top teams in the world competing out there. It's going to be a fantastic tournament. It's just about maintaining that belief. Um, doing those small little things that we know we can do well, which enables us to put on performances like today. Well, thank you so much, Ray. It's lovely to see your smiling face. We're going to say, right, get off, you're substituted, because <laughs> the boss is here. <laughs> okay, All right, if you can hand you uh, Danny there. Come on in, sir. Swap the microphone. Dancing, you've done your bit, or you're off. Come on, then. <laughs> welcome, Come sir, on, welcome. Oh, dear, this is a reunion. <laughs> Congratulations. And, you know, uh, we've just seen Alex there. Great to see a smile on her face. All these fans around here. Um, and a smile on your face. I mean, what have you done? <laughs> what have you done in the last 24 hours to make a difference? I often get asked that question, Chris. It's really what you do in the months, not necessarily the yeah. 24 hours. So we work really hard at sort of, you know, what, why do we play? Why do we do this? We have a very strong sort of sense of, you know, why we play, our values and what we're like and supposed to be like under pressure. And here things haven't gone our way. 
uh, and the last game we didn't play well. And it's, our, it's then it really gets tested, you know. It's, it's very difficult for a coach to say something magical and expect to change it. It's the months of work that's gone on before. Yeah, you got a sense that, that the girls have got together last night. I don't know whether you were involved in just saying, hey, come on, let's have a laugh, you know, enjoy yourself. And, I mean, she, Alex was almost saying, Lily suggested it, saying, come on, we've got to do it. Do it for each other, do it for you, do it for the crowd. Uh, there was definitely a meeting last night. Um, <laughs> And uh, I, I spoke to the girls after the Australia game. I was pretty uh, to, the, to the point. And then I spoke to them again in the meeting. And then they had a little meeting after I met with them. And it was really just about, you know, just sticking to what we do, believing in what we do, really committing to it and making it work rather than sort of going inside ourselves. And I, and I was really delighted the way we started the game today, really on the front foot. Yeah, um, Marsha, you were very impressed with the intensity, weren't you? Yeah, it was really fantastic to see that you guys started off a lot more positive, but we've also seen uh, you sitting in the stands next to the team psychologist. What role does she play, <laughs> but not only for the players, but you? For, for you as well? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, look, um, you know, everyone has to work hard and improve on different things. I'm, I, I get absorbed in the game, I get anxious in the game, and then I kick myself afterwards because I don't see things in the video debrief. So I work also with a psychologist, so I'm trying to remain in a state which allows me to see stuff. And when I go into quarter times and half times, I can deliver it with clarity. And sometimes I get it right and sometimes I get it wrong. Um, yeah, so that's that's one of the things I work with with Andrea. As you're speaking, you're missing out on your video replays here, uh, sir. You know, just um, you just missed your opening goal, which was disappointing, but it was a fa fabulous goal. I mean, the, the New Zealand were a threat everywhere. You know, just when you thought you had a bit of breathing space, they've got so much attacking ability, haven't they? Yeah, and Kiwis leave players high, so um, if you're good with the ball the other end, then you can have opportunity. But if you're poor with the ball, they can then counterattack. So it's really about do you trust your game well enough? to actually outplay them because they're outnumbered or do you get nervous and tentative because if you do they win the ball and they're straight up the other end and it and it's kind of a philosophical battle yeah and you certainly got your key players i'm thinking of uh, obviously alex alex dancing but lily as well uh, and you can look at a good goal now look sir go on <laughs> oh yeah was that a goal i did, i couldn't really see it on your monitor <laughs> but uh, the thing i was like with was alex today yeah so alex has had a really long-term injury it was an innocuous break of her thumb and really she desperately needed this tournament to get to get back into it and the reality is here i think she's now started to hit her straps and where she's back to kind of her her best form but it's taken this tournament yeah has it uh, taken its toll this competition on you <laughs> have you suddenly no. thought oh my goodness what am i letting myself in for Yep, absolutely. Um, I don't think my doctor would be too impressed. Uh, a, few, you know, a few months back, I was on a blood pressure monitor, and I think today they wouldn't have had a, a blood pressure monitor quite high enough to deal with it. But um, yeah, it does take its toll, definitely. And I think one of the challenges of leadership is trying to, you know, think manage yourself. And you know, you've got to deliver lots of team talks. You've got to work with the players, and that's incredibly hard work. It's incredibly tiring. But you've got to, you've got to get it right every time. And if you get it wrong once, despite the other 99 times you got it right, you get it wrong once you lose the team and uh, that's something I work hard at. Do you find that quite, well obviously it is a pressure, um, but you like that as a challenge as well. I mean, I've obviously been coached by you at club and country and I always say you're probably one of the best tactical coaches I've worked with because I think you thrive on the battle. Like sometimes, yes, the players don't necessarily deliver, but actually for you, it's almost like a chess game. Of, I want to get one ahead. Is that a fair assumption or? Yeah, and as part of that, it's sort of the human chess. So today we deliberately sought out to um, put more pressure to the initial outlet from New Zealand, despite the fact they've got a lot of threat in the counter-attack and pace. We decided that because, you know, the mindset was actually if the girls are just up and running and playing and not having to think their way through the game too much. So it's not just the tactical bit, there's also what, how do we send the girls into the game here? Um, to try and make them play a little bit freer. And so it's, it's the chess of the tactics, but it's also the chess of sort of the underlying message. Well, it worked today. You've got your key players, the likes of Danson, as you say, Lily, uh, on the ball, and that is worthy of winning any match, any competition. That, that goal from Alex Danson, uh, I think, is, is probably one of the best goals when you actually look at the level of skill required and what she actually did. Um, I've seen Alex do that in training, um, but the skill to slide the stick under the ball and lob it over the keeper at full pace and it stretches, yeah, that's, that's world class. Rio next? Rio, yeah. So, uh, well, we've got a couple of games, practice games against Spain, then we fly off to Rio on the 27th. 
Uh, and then we got a couple of warm-up games out there. Uh, you know what, Chris? My job is such as like, okay, what's tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah. Well, we wish you the very best, and we thank you for all of your time because I know it's hard work when things are not going so well. And we're so pleased for you today, and we wish you the very best of luck. All right, mate. Thanks very much. Good thank luck. you.